Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The X-Files, Season 2, Episode 1, the premiere of Season 2. I am very excited to watch this, you guys. I am so scared to see what's going to happen. The X-Files shut down. Mulder and Scully are split up somewhere else. We've seen... Scully now believes she has seen a baby alien. And then their deep throat guy, the one that's giving them help, kind of, and was a little sketchy, but was at least some help to keep X-Files alive and around and keeping them a little bit helped is dead. So what now? I guess we'll see. But before we do, please don't forget to go check out Patreon link down below in the description box. Go to patreon.com slash smallscreenreactions where you can watch the next couple of episodes ahead right now on Patreon. It's already there, fully uncut, unedited at reactions. Plus you can get Patreon exclusive shows like Battlestar Galactica, and Succession and a couple others that are just Patreon exclusives, not going to YouTube at all, so go check those out, okay? Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoy this, and without further ado, here we go. We wanted to believe. I want to believe. We wanted to call out. On August 20th and September 5th, 1977, okay. two space crowns from the Kennedy Space Flight Center, Florida. They were called Voyager. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. Each one carries a message. Oh, Plus, yeah, in case it runs into something. Within that time, there were no further messages sent, nor are any planned. Yet. 1992, NASA initiated the High Resolution Microwave Survey, a decade long search by radio telescopes. That's great. Well, million free Science, extraterrestrial intelligence, like movie here. Less oh, than one okay. year later, first Senator Richard Bryan successfully championed an amendment which terminated the project. Um, they closed our eyes. Our voices have been silenced. Our now. ears now deaf to the realms of extreme possibility. Oh, are they about to get a message back from space? Oh, receiving a message. Ooh, how did it just turn on by itself? Step out of our solar system into the universe, seeking only peace and friendship. Teach. Ooh. Run over that one strip joint. Yeah. Treat yourself. No. Oh, in a motel. You know that. Is Mulder still work on cases by himself? Ew, messy. Gross. He's a trash can. Hold it. I love the enthusiasm, but be clean, please. It is advantageous to begin an autopsy. Oh, she's teaching now? The cranium is open. Autopsies? Okay. She doesn't seem thrilled doing this. All locked in this small mass of tissue and fluid. Are you okay, Agent Scully? She's just not you happy kind of doing this a job. A little spooky. <laughs> a little spooky. Oh, interesting wording. Mulder's not looking so clean put together right now. A little sad. Good I'm shaved. Oh, you're not even gonna say hi to Scully? I get you're down and depressed and all, but don't need to be rude. What? Oh. His sister? Did someone put a picture of his sister on his desk? Was that not his sister? It is. Well, well, who put the sticky note there? Was that him? Someone put a sticky note and put the picture down for some reason? Weird. Oh, she's waiting for him. $4 for the first hour of parking is criminal. She, she got better be worth at least 45 minutes. Was that a message for him to come? The sticky note? You know Mulder from... From back there, you look like him. Oh. 
deep throat. Yeah. He's dead, Scully. I attended his funeral at Arlington through eight power binoculars from a thousand yards away. <laughs> okay, so you didn't really attend. Turned down, you wanted to talk. What have you found? Ah, that's... I right, so it was from her, yeah. It's dangerous for us just to have a little chat, Scully. We must assume we're being watched. Yeah. Holder, I haven't seen any indication. No, no, of course not. These people are the best. Yeah, the okay. highest of the government. What makes you think they care about us anymore anyway? So why have you bothered to come here covertly? Because I realized that it was the only way that you would see me. Yeah, because you're a little paranoid. So what do you want? But it could be true, honestly. Right? Mulder, you passed me today within a foot, but you were miles away. Yeah, he's not there anymore. They got me on electronic up. surveillance. That's it, White really? White cases, bank fraud, insurance fraud. Oh, God. Scandals. That must be killing his soul inside. When the Bureau first shut us down, you said that you would go on for as long as the truth was out there. But I no longer feel that from you. He feels like he's given up. Have you ever been to San Diego? That went random. Yeah. yeah, until recently, it was the largest telescope in the world. The idea and design came from a brilliant and wealthy astronomer named George Ellery Hale. Cool. Actually, okay. the idea was presented. In my case. Little green men. Little green men. I knew it. I knew he was going to say it. During your time with the X-Files, you've seen so much. Well, and how do you point. not believe at this point? The things you've seen. I should have something to hold on to, some solid evidence. Well, we kind of ha did. did from you. The baby alien was in her clutches for a moment. Your sister's abduction, you've held on to that. Yeah. If that ever even happened. What? He's Holder. really losing it now. Even if George... Even she believes more than him. In his mind, the telescope still got built. Yeah. Don't give up. Look at her telling him to believe now. I love it. We need we need our Mulder back. We meet out in the open. I don't like sad, defeated Mulder. I want to hug him. Of course, we're at the Watergate Hotel. Of course. Woods testified that she erased only about five minutes of the conversation. Okay, we're back in the 70s now. 18 minute gap. Oh, is this when Scout. we're seeing what the sister and everything when she went vanished? We finally getting into that a little bit more. I'm watching The Magician at nine. Mom and Dad say to watch the new Butt Munch. Oh, Butt Munch. I'm in charge. Hey, get out of my light! Oh, damn. Oh, God. I'm watching the magician. He actually does kind of look like Mulder a bit. Now look, the fuse is blown. Not a fuse. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I love that we finally get to see the night. Oh, the flashing lights. This is what brought him on this path that started everything this night. Whoa. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh god. Oh, that's wild. How do you not believe after seeing that? Oh? Who dis? Just opening your door? Do you not lock your door, man? We're going to the hill. What? Senator Matheson! Senator Matheson, okay. Gotta finish the song, it's very important. Do you know this spot? Wow. Brandenburg Concerto number three. How do you know that? Oh, uh, two. Got it wrong. Good thing it wasn't a double jeopardy question. 
<laughs> Do you know the significance oh, this of this Oh, this actor. Piece? I recognize him from somewhere, but he looks much younger here. First selection of music on the Voyager spacecraft. The first. Um, Four and a half billion years. Is he about now. to hire him to do stuff to investigate? If another civilization out there were to hear this, yeah. they would think, "What a wonderful place the Earth must be." Maybe. To be the first contact with another life form. What if those other life forms don't like this kind of music? They just may be into like some pop or some country or some rap and this might be like shit to them. You never know. I know I've let you down. Oh. Poured me a great risk to your reputation. Oh. And I realized when they shut us down there was nothing you could do. So he was supporting the X-Files. What? Oh, don't speak. They're listening. I live for Bach. Then let's hear it again. Yeah. I take it you're familiar with the high resolution microwave survey. Yeah. I search for extraterrestrial rain. Delay them as long as I can, but my guess is you'll have at least twenty four hours. After that He's I going on a secret mission for my senator. UFO retrieval team. And they have been authorized to display terminal force. Oh. What am I looking for? Oh. Uh. Contact. Contact. All right, let's get Scully and let's go to Puerto Rico. In the bullpen hallway. Would you speak with him? No. Uh, this is the director. Table? This man. Agent failed to appear at the time. His whereabouts are unknown. And then the smoky man here. She doesn't know where he is. How can you be so sure? Because if she knew, she wouldn't be so worried about him. True. But she's, she could be lying. Oh, you're out of cigarettes. What are you going to do? I don't smoke. Okay. I'm guessing he's just calling Scully because he didn't want to get her in trouble and involve her. But I think she would have been thrilled to have been invited and join in. She's gonna be a little pissed that you didn't invite her, honestly. I don't know how I like, or how I think about Mulder in non-suit and scruffy and sweaty. I don't know, not the vibe. How are you gonna get in? to climb all the way around. Ooh. I'm just thinking about the mosquitoes here. And the humidity. Oh. The bugs. Hmm. I'm saying, kind of. No power. Fun. Then how the machines go on. Just Although the control panel lights are still on. Oh. Uh -huh. We are just no lights. The room's about 30 by 15. I'm gonna close the door, no bugs or anything. Signs of any recent occupation. There's quite an odor of mildew in the air. The air is stale. Ew. I guess that's probably get some fresh air in here, it isn't bad. I see no indications. But the computers are running. Who's Don't this woman? Know. You're a pig. Damn. <laughs> of course. Is it his sister's name? Spooky, uh. No. I think it's sister's name, or I want to believe. Samantha, yeah. No, okay. If you really want security, it'd be random letters and stuff. But. Oh. 
trust no one. Oh. Oh. What exactly is that? Galactic latitude. Uh oh. I ask what you're doing here, Agent Scully. She's checking on no friend. Are you following me? Agent Mulder's residence is under surveillance. Please Close explain why you're here. I was told by the assistant director that Mulder was gone. So? So, whenever he's away, I'll feed his fish. Oh, good cover. Shit, now you gave them this piece of paper. What the hell is this? Looks like a self-test the computer does. Oh, uh, luckily they're not small enough to know what it is. Amen. Damn. Just dump it in the tank. That would be bad for the fish. Yeah, we're not killing his fish. There you go. Smart. Oh, she's good under pressure. There you go. Good job. Proud of you. Proud of you, girl. Wahoo. My day Echo. From Greg stop. Echo. Perfect. Stop. The fuck is wrong with my Echo? You okay there? Seem a little tired. Maybe get some rest? Some AC on would be nice. Oh God! Oh shit! Oh, who the fuck? How long have you been there? It's all right. Settle down. Holy! Jorge, okay. Uh, what are you doing here, buddy? Why are you so afraid? What was in here before? What have you seen? Who was an alien? I don't speak Spanish. Little green men. What? No comprende. Did you say men? Hombres. Little green men? In the sky? Oh, he's gonna draw it. What? Yep, aliens. That's what he's. Why'd they come? I guess they came to where the signal went out. The wow signal? Ohio State Who's has this? a radio telescope. Okay. It conducts electronic searches. 1977, my buddy Jerry Amon found a transmission on the printout like this. He was so excited, he wrote wow in the margins. Mm -hmm. What was there? The wow signal is the best evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. This mm. is even better. This is better. Yeah. Maybe you can tell me. Is that from Ohio State? No, it's on Puerto Rico. When dying SETI projects around, uh, UC Berkeley has one. The Planetary Society. How did it end up on Mulder's computer, though? He was handed the paper. Did he scan NASA onto the computer on before he left? Goldstone, in California. Why would he do that, though? What's, what's his alias going to be for a flight? She doesn't know it. Betty Grant. Mother. Georgie Hale. What? I, I don't... What does that mean? I don't know. I feel like I should know, but I don't. Narrow band and exact matching of the antenna pattern indicates that it originated from beyond lunar distance. Don't it's touch same. buttons. Don't touch buttons. No. Jorge, don't touch that red button. No ho on the rojo. No ho. On the... the same message is transmitted. He did press the red button though. So what, what does that mean? What did it do? This puts its point of origin very close. Just miles away. Oh, oh! It turned on itself. It's happening again. Oh no! Oh no! 
Where are we gonna go? There's a storm outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. You can't be afraid, Jorge. Is that the aliens responding back? And Jorge has left the building. Don't be afraid. He's gone. Can't be afraid. Yeah, he was really afraid. I wouldn't have gone out there. I would have been like, okay, well, if he wants to go, he can go. I'll stay here. It's a storm out. Not happening. Oh, here's Bernard. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, he's, like, frozen in fear. Did you see them? She must be getting followed and watched. So how is she going to be able to fly there without bringing them? Yeah. She's looking. They've done this before where they've s escaped them and went airport to a different airport to a different thing. She can do it again. Ah. Uh, those are the agents following. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. You walk in this way and suddenly turn around and whisper to each other. Not suspicious at all. Really not the best undercover agents. It's Fox Mulder. Leave a message, please. CA 519. She knows they're listening. <laughs> What's the plan? Make it sound like you go on a different flight, maybe, and that's the flight you're on, then go on a different one. At 40 seconds. What? What did they just get told? You got an update. She's not there. She skipped off right when you looked away. Good for you people. Going to St. Croix. St. Caribbean Air Flight 519. Uh, after seven. Gates in the other terminal. Mm-hmm. That's what she wants you to think. Time is 10.30. He's really sweaty. A lot of qualified pathologists that uh, will like Puerto Rico is not my place. Future time decomposition should obscure forensic evidence. He's like Subject pale. Reps. Make no indications of any lightning strikes. No singeing of the hair or burns of any kind. Don't touch him. There's evidence of you in your fingerprints on him. There are no puncture wounds due to needles or probes commonly associated with cases of alien abduction. Just died of fear. God, Scully, as if he's been frightened to death. Yeah, that's what Again, Scully, nothing but evidence. And again, no evidence at all. <laughs> it's evidence, but not evidence. Because it's really evidence of nothing, but it's also evidence of something weird. Yet I cannot see them. Even if I could see them, would they really be there? He's really doubting everything now. Could extraterrestrials really have intercepted them? Or is this just some elaborate joke played on those? He wanna believe. He wants to, but he can't, but he wants to. It's I don't like this from all the It's hard, Scully. Suspecting everyone, everything. He's losing it. you down. You even begin to doubt what you know is the truth. Oh. Now I can only trust you. They've taken you away from me. Aww. She's the only one he can trust. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That sounds good. They're here. Oh. Oh, just like before. Just like when he was a kid. How 
they want though? What are they doing here? Yeah, start recording. Um, here by one of those deep throat said trust no one. Trust no one. Oh. You copied him. No! Oh. Oh, he's freaking out. Oh god, okay. Don't panic. No, panicking is not the option right now. You gotta calm down. I don't think a simple thing in front of the door is really gonna stop them. They really want it in. Oh, god. Again. Yeah, that's not gonna stop them. Oh, oh, that's not working. Whoa. Yeah, it's just not working. The aliens have stopped your gun somehow. Yeah, leave. Oh. Just like when I was a kid. <sighs> What's happening? Scully find him. Mulder, it's Scully. Dana Scully, do you know where you are? <laughs> they, the ones that took her, they were here. Yeah, here? the same exact ones. We're here. <laughs> here. These printouts, it's here. And the man. Mm. We'll have to examine the body, there'll be more proof. You sound a little crazy right now, but it's true. What? Oh. Is that them? They're here again? No, this isn't it. Oh, is this the government? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta grab all the evidence you can and go. Retrieval team, they'll kill us. Help me with the body. We don't have time. You can't get the body. Mulder, we're never gonna be able to yeah. Get the body out of you gotta just take some paper, some of the recordings, and go. That's all you can handle. What's well, light and easy? Go. No. Evidence is worthless if you're dead. Yeah. Take some of it with you. It's some paper. Ah, uh, yep. Take your recordings at least. Take something. Uh, what's that way? Two. Go, go, go. Don't look behind. Just go. Not seem safe. All out. You went full fast and furious here. You left your offsite set up. Another brick agent had to cover your ass. The entire surveillance, Ooh. all the months of work on this case, gone. Just like you, gone. He's gonna have to get in trouble for skipping out on work. Censure, transfer, suspension, probation. I understand that leaving the guy smoking in the background. Was... Uh, what is with this man? Surveillance to arrest those suspects after three days. I could have nailed them on 40 counts of bank mm -hmm. fraud. But you left me there. Yeah. I'm surprised you even noticed I was gone. Uh huh. Let alone wiretap my phone and a legal Damn. procedure without a court order. Ooh. Yeah, call them out on their BS, too. Your time is over. What? Firing them? With nothing. Wow. I said, get the hell out. Oh, are you telling him? Oh. Oh, so this is the director. May I actually come to like you at some point? Ooh. You just had to light that cigarette before you walked out, weirdo. 
Hey, Mulder's looking great now in the suit. I gotta say, it's one per episode. He's looking good. I didn't. I was getting used to him in the sweaty, moodiness, but I like this more. Do you want me to make the arrests? I think we need more to go on. You just gonna make him keep sit there in a hotel recording, listening. You're really squandering a great agent just to listen. It should be right here. How'd it go? The aliens just take everything off of it? Why would they come and erase all the existence of them being there? What do they want? They don't want to say hello back. The entire tape is blank. All of that for nothing? You know, an electrical surge in the outlet during the storm may have degaussed everything. Erasing the entire tape. Reasonable. Or aliens did it. You still have nothing. Yeah. But he has his hope again. He believes. I still have you. Aww. Well, uh, what's the difference between our lap dance and a table dance? Oh, God. I've been listening to that all day. They're all over you. <laughs> you guys will get through this but now he's got his oomph back wait was he lying no he's just trying to listen again nothing's there He's not giving up. Okay. Quite the journey this episode. We have a lot going on. Mulder and Scully separated. Scully's looking at the academy teaching autopsy stuff. And Mulder is just listening in doing surveillance on small tax fraud and stuff cases. Both of them, well especially Mulder, doesn't seem very happy. Like, they've lost their purpose. And Mulder especially has felt like he lost his hope. He doesn't believe anymore. He's doesn't know what to believe in. But it looks like he's got it back by the end of this episode. Because there's this whole thing with the one... Um, I forgot... The, oh, gosh. Discovery? No. Oh, gosh. I forgot the name of the satellite. It's a real thing that was sent out long ago. With, like, Bach music. And, like, some math, science. Some... Earth stuff that they sent out left our solar system, and in this they get a message back. But I don't know what the message is. That's why I don't get. It. I'm like, what are the aliens up to? If we keep seeing these, like, this is obviously not the first time the aliens have come. So they've come full. But why come to this one place in Puerto Rico, and why kill this one man? Well, I guess he just died from fear. So maybe they didn't actually kill him. But then, like, why go after Mulder? Why, like, go back after and then leave and erase all the evidence? Like, I don't get their plan. It's interesting, but it was the same exact thing that happened, which we finally got to see with what happened with Mulder and his sister Samantha when they were young and everything, and her vanishing with the little green men. Not so little, actually, they were pretty big. The aliens in the door, the her hovering and getting taken away. It's very, very interesting. It was the same exact stuff that happened this time. So it's really brought him back to being like, I believe again. And he's into it. I don't know what's going to happen next. He's at least, he's not fired. Mulder almost got fired from the smoking man. The guy smoking, he fired him. But assistant director was like, no, you keep doing it. I don't know if assistant director kind of cares about him in a way and protecting him. Or maybe he just doesn't like the smoking man and he's just like... Fuck you, so, and I want you close by so I can watch you, so here's this stupid job that you're going to hate. But clearly Mulder's not giving up. I don't know how the rest of the season's going to go without the X-Files actually being open. But at least he does have, a, Mulder does have a senator on his side, and I guess he's actually one of the reasons that the X-Files saw and everything, but he's only a senator and he can't keep the X-Files open, he's not powerful enough. But maybe that will come in handy soon enough and he can get some people and get the X-Files back opened up. I don't know. 
maybe he'll just be going on secret missions this season. They'll be going on secret missions together. I really like the secret agent spy stuff, like Scully having to evade the people watching and tailing her to get to Mulder. Very fun. The little car chase, fun. Love that kind of cloak and dagger stuff. So overall, very fun. I'm still intrigued to see how they're going to move forward with the season without the X-Files being open, with Mulder and Scully working separately, to having their own jobs, how they're going to do a second job behind that. And it doesn't seem, I don't know, we're going to have a case by, weekly case-by-case case thing like last season, but we can't because they work on different things to, and how they're going to work together, I don't know. I still don't quite understand where we're going, but at least we have Mulder back together, back to believing. Mulder and Scully back together as a team. Somehow they're at least connected and talking again. That's something. We're on the road to recovery, to being back. I'm just wondering what being back is going to be like. I guess we'll see next time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to check out Patreon. Link down below in the description box. And I hope you all having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.